please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Banani Industries defends itself on alleged fraud transactions highlighted in a forensic report. Calls the allegations false and says that these details are in public domain and the lenders were well aware of all of these developments. Let's listen in to that conversation. All these transactions have very clearly been mentioned in the audited accounts of the company. Mm. Historically, mm. it has run through various checks, mm. including December 2014. Mm. The MRA was executed within the JLF, mm. and all this was part of the discussion at the JLF post this was done. Mm. That was A. Mm. B the forensic report, the current one, which has been done at the behest of the COC or the RP, has formally not been shared with the company. On 12th of March, what we understand, the report was ready. 14th of March, there was a COC. If you were to look at the agenda for the COC, if it was such a material disclosure, Hmm. I would have felt this should have been item number one on the agenda. Hmm. This did not figure on at the agenda at all, which itself for us shows that it was not that major. Otherwise, it should have been part of this. And why were the bidders not formally taken into confidence or why was the progress of the forensic report not discussed at various, various stages? First was the 487 crore rupees of, against the cement sales, which has not been recovered. Binani Cement had extended an intercorporate deposit of 1,148 crore rupees to its parent, Binani Industries, and forensic auditor has calculated that interest foregone on that account is close to 382 crore rupees. I would like to say there are no related party transactions. Mm. There are certain transactions where the collections have been laid, late, delayed, or may not have been generated as on date. If you recollect, maybe three years back, the company went through certain sales tax related issues. Companies' accounts were frozen. New markets had to be, I mean, looked at. Keeping all this in mind, there were certain steps taken. These purported fraud or the allegations, unfortunately, not a single meeting has had has been had even with the auditors of the company or the company management where these could have been discussed, clarified.